And we are pissed off. Oh boy, another one. Yes. Yes, another one. Awesome. It's the next cast, y'all. Oh boy. Welcome to Freedom Fishing. Got an unusual episode. I'm fishing on a Wednesday evening. Got a, a weird week at work. Got a lot going on at work. Uh, traveling a lot more than normal. So I decided to sneak out for a few hours on a Wednesday night. Got a popping cork with some live shrimp uh, right here on my Pen Pursuit uh, 3000 20 pound braid, 30 pound leader. About three feet a liter. I'm gonna fish somewhere I've never fished before. Right here, I've got, got an outgoing tide. We're near the outgoing. You can see right there the brown really shallow little sandbar right there. I'm gonna throw this popping cork along that sandbar and see if there's any fish going with the outgoing tide here. See if I can get on some fish here. And then I'm gonna move into some creeks once the current starts to move. So thanks for joining Freedom Fishing guys. just got here and I just dropped this down I was setting up another rod and we were already we were already yes this has got to be a red fish oh my gosh I was just set this down I was setting up another purple pole and the toothbrush went off yes oh yeah it's been a tough start oh yeah we just pulled up and we got a beautiful red fish already yes god that was I've been here literally this rod has been out 30 seconds Gonna drop another rod out. Beautiful red. This is an upper slot red right here. Boy, I tell you, I'm really liking this toe fish too. The more I use it, it heals well. Check this guy out, y'all. Perfect fish. Come around, big boy. Yeah. There we go, we got him. That was wow, so fast. Slow, slow start today. Just pulled up to the spot, tried to get some mullet, didn't couldn't get any. Dropped down a shrimp on this jig head. Got ourselves a nice medium slot right here right here. Yes. Thank you, dude. God, that was so fast, too. That makes me think there's a bunch of them down there. Let's hope there are. This guy is over 20. He's probably 23, 22. 22-inch redfish right there, y'all. Awesome. Live shrimp and a jig head. See you, dude. Bless the camera big time. And we are pissed off. Oh boy, another one. Yes. Yes, another one. Awesome. This is the next cast, y'all. Oh boy. Well, he is taking some drag. Come on, baby. Come on, toadfish. Hold up, baby. Hold up. We got another. Oh, man. Wow, this is a better fish. Oh, my goodness, people. I haven't seen this fish yet. I'm about to see him, I think. He's coming. Up. Oh, he got oh, a nice red fish, y'all. This is a bull right here. Not a bull, but this is a good fish. Really good fish. Look at this guy. Stay on, baby. Oh, God, good fish. 
Good fish. Look at that guy. Take him out, y'all. Great fish. Look at the size of this fish. How y'all doing? Thank you. There we go. Let's measure this bad boy. Two in a row, y'all. This guy is 26. 26. Beautiful fish. 26 inch redfish, baby. Two in a row, back to back. Whatever you're ready to do, there you go. Think that line's being eaten. It is. It's being eaten right now. I I knew it. I knew it. I saw the line. The line was swimming, but it wasn't doing anything yet. I'm gonna try to get this line in so I don't get tangled up. Oh boy. Yep, there he goes. Where's this at? Get up here, Greg. Okay. I saw the line swimming. The pole hadn't done a thing yet. I saw the line swimming. Yep, another little pretty little redfish. He's probably a keeper. He's probably right at 18. These are pretty good sized ones in here today. There we go. That was a pretty redfish. Guy's right at 18. I'm not going to measure him. Right at 18. Beautiful fish. I think you'll see you there. We are on again, yes. Not as big as the last one, I don't think. This is my biggest shrimp, too. This fish is not as big. Maybe even a mangrove. What is it? It's just a little bit. Small little pretty red. That was the biggest shrimp I've had. I bet see him. Oh, I just moved over here and got me one. It's a decent one. It's a keeper right there. Yeah, good job. Thank you. I just moved here too, just now. That's a spot. I got every time I throw that corner right there. Yeah, I caught four right there and it slowed down. I came here and first drop I got him. Yep. See dude, that's a man, I literally just moved here. It's my first drop I've been. Been here one minute. I just moved from over there. It slowed down over there. So I just moved to this side. The current's going that way now. So I wanted to move over here so I could get my bait under the dock or close to the dock anyway. It's kind of hard to anchor here. Always want your bait under the dock if you can. This shrimp is nervous already. There he is. Oh, God. Yeah, good one. Keeper size, I think. Well, maybe not. Nope. Not a keeper. Another short one, about 16, a couple of 16s. I'll tell you what though, this is so much fun. Lightweight, I got two split shots on there with a circle hook and just really lightweight and just letting it drift down. See you dude. Whoa, yeah, there he is. I told you all that clip was too long to show you the whole thing. But that was the same drop where I said my shrimp was nervous. Not a real big red, but it's a red. Another short one, about 16. 
This guy didn't hesitate. He just went and gone. 16 inch redfish right there. All right, pretty fishy, dude. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to head home. So you basically saw one location. I went to three locations, but the one paid off really well. I lost track if I caught seven or eight redfish, I'm not sure. Caught them all in about an hour and a half period of time. Fished for about three hours tonight. Got a long weekend ahead of me. So thanks for watching this episode. And one thing too, I don't do this very often, but uh, if you watch the videos and you are not a subscriber or you don't like or comment on the videos, of course that's fine, but it really helps the channel. If, you, if you're a subscriber, of course, if you'll thumbs up the videos and if you'll comment, it helps the algorithm, it really helps spread the channel around and get the videos seen more often and hit the notification button. Uh, that way you'll see the videos that are released every time I release them. I release about two a week, sometimes three, but usually about two a week, so you don't wanna miss out on videos. And then lastly, the giveaway. Make sure you register for that giveaway. It's about three videos ago entitled Giveaway. It's a guided kayak fishing trip for two by Will Neiman at St. Augustine Palace Sports. David Hernandez is helping with that. So thanks for watching as always, guys. Have a great night. There's our uh, beautiful, beautiful sunset. We got ready, getting ready to happen here soon. And uh, we'll see you uh, we'll next week. God bless.